Hello, and in this quick tip for Revit family creation, we're going to take a look at how we can create some custom parameters and associate those parameters with items of geometry and then use it to control some visibility. My name's Greg Benson Shettle, and let's take a look at how we can do this. We've got a model of uh, a projector, and here is a area representing the screen. Now I'd like to have the ability when we place this into an actual project that we can turn this on and off. Now the way that we do this is by adding a custom parameter. Now when you select any item and take a look over in the properties area we can see right here it says graphics visible and there's a checkbox and with the checkbox that confirms that yes you can see it or no you can't we want to leave that tick in there but next to it there's a tiny little button and this is the associate family parameter button so select this and in here we'll have a list of available parameters currently there are none so we're going to click on add parameter if you've not seen this before, uh, there's various options. You could choose from a shared parameter that maybe you've uh, created a list already, or we can create one as needed. Well, that's what we're going to do. So let's give this a name, first of all. So we'll call it uh, Projector. Display. Now because there may be more than one of these projectors being used in any given project, I don't want to make it a type, I'm going to make it an instance. So this means you can have different instances within the actual project and you can adjust them individually. Here we can see how we're going to group it and because this is going to be about controlling the graphics, we can place it within the graphics category from this pop-up list. The type of parameter this is, is a yes-no parameter. So that means that when we use this inside of our project, we're actually going to see a tick box. And if the tick is in there, it's a yes, and if it's not, it's a no. So we go ahead and click OK. And here we can see we've got a new family parameter. That's good enough, we click on OK. Once you've created your custom parameter, that's basically it. So let's see how this is going to work in a project. We'll load this into a uh, test project that we have already. So load into project. I need to overwrite an existing version of it. So here we have a project. And if we go to uh, components, here we've got our projector. Now this is what we call a uh, a face-based or surface-based family that we've created that means it's expecting to be placed on some sort of surface I'm going to place this actually on the ceiling like so so there's our projector at the moment it's not actually projecting on the wall so I simply use our a line option and we'll align it that face to that face and now we can see that our projector is projecting on the wall so let's see how the the yes no parameter works select the object and we can see over here in the properties area projector display and simply as a tick means it's displayed tick on it and it's off and that's it it's as simple as that. Add a parameter, associate it to a piece of geometry, and when you load it into your project, you'll have the ability to decide whether or not you see it or not. This tool can be quite useful. You could use it in various ways. Imagine, if you will, that I wanted to use this as a desk-based item. So I'm just going to uh, reveal one. So here, I have 
my projector, but it's actually on a worktop unit. And for this, this type of projection is not suitable. So what I could do is this. I've applied a special parameter, an associated parameter to it. And here it says project display. I'm going to switch that one off and I've created another one. I'm going to switch that one on. And so now we've been able to use this to show this projector having different types of display possibilities. And you could use this same idea in so many ways. Well, I hope you find that useful. My name is Greg Benson Shettle, uh, one of the application engineers here at uh, Greytech. If you found that useful, please comment. And if you've got any queries, feel free to uh, add those comments on our YouTube channel as well. Okay, bye for now.